Bingo Airsoft Designs, Design to Dominate. Hi, I'm Rudy from Bingo Airsoft Designs, and this is the introduction video for the Advanced System 5 Airsoft Gun from Bingo Airsoft Designs. This is the world's first fully 3D printed airsoft gun designed from the ground up as an airsoft gun. It has several unique features about this. Um, primarily, it doesn't have any magazines. You'll notice there's no magazines. This gun has an integrated BB storage area right back here in the stock, which allows it to hold 3,000 BBs. So you can take this out on the field without having to wear any extra vest or magazines. It's all completely self-contained within this gun. Uh, another unique feature about this gun is it's extremely light. This is a, an unloaded gun and it weighs probably less than six pounds, a little bit less than six pounds. Fully loaded with 3,000 rounds in it, it's just over seven pounds or so. Uh, depending on uh, what weight of BBs you actually put into the gun. So it's extremely light. Gives you the full capabilities of essentially a saw weapon, but the range and accuracy of an assault weapon and even a sniper weapon as uh, many of these guns have been shooting at 200, 250 feet without a problem. This gun is primarily designed as an HPA or a high pressure air gun, as you can tell by the airline that's coming out here, but it will also support an AEG engine, primarily a 249 uh, AEG engine inside of here. But in this video I want to show you some of the features and operations of this gun and then in subsequent videos I'll go into uh, how to completely disassemble this and how to troubleshoot and maintain all the different parts of this gun. So the first thing is how do you load this gun? Well there's a hopper right at the top that you push down this lever and slide it back. It sort of has a lock on it so you push it down and slide this back and you can pour the BBs right into the top. Again, it holds about 3,000 rounds. And then just slide that closed and you're good to go. The hopper area here is lined with foam to try to minimize the amount of sound from the BBs inside the back of this gun. It's fully ambidextrous. There's a fire select for both safe, semi, and full auto, which is accessible on both the right side and the left side. Has indicators to show which state it's in. This gun also features a hop-up window right here on the side. This lets you get access to a standard M4 hop-up and it uses a standard M4 outer barrel. Let me show you how you take this gun apart so you can access the hop-up in the barrel. It's very easy. It's accessible by one button that's right here on the bottom. Push the button down, handguard comes right off. At that point, there is a lever inside here which separates the upper from the lower. Push this lever lock and the two separate. That's it. You can now, taking the upper, get access to the hop-up and inner barrel. Again, it uses a standard M4 hop-up and a standard M4 outer barrel. And in subsequent videos, I'll show you how to completely swap out the barrel. You can also see that the engine is very easy to, uh, to uh, get, gain access to it. This actually happens to have a uh, fusion engine, a V2 fusion engine upper installed here, but you can also put in any of the cylinder replacement engines from Wolverine, or uh, from Polar Star or from Protec. And I'll show you that again in another video on how to completely swap out the engine. So let me reassemble the gun again. And you just put the upper and lower together, put the handguard in, click it into place, and you're ready to go. For the HPA engines, there's a, uh, a door located in the grip, which you can just slide this little cover out, and that gives you access to the FCU or the fire control unit. And this is where you would also put the battery for the FCU. So that goes inside of here, tucks neatly away in the grip, and slide this grip back on. You'll notice there's actually a hole right here through this grip area. Well, that allows you to put a zip tie right through here to tournament lock this door. If you put a zip tie, you won't be able to open the door, and you won't be able to get access to the FCU to change your settings on the field. So for some locations that might be required, this is tournament lock ready right out of the box. Uh, the back end here is actually powered by the same mechanics that powers a box mag. It's all integrated in the stock. If you unscrew this bottom here and uh, take off this door, there's access to a 9-volt battery. Let me go ahead and show you that to you. This 9-volt battery powers the uh, BB feed mechanism. And for those that want to be able to use a, a LiPo that uh, also powers your FCU, there'll be an adapter available which will replace the 9-volt battery. And then you won't have to use this if you don't choose if you don't want to. 9 volt battery fits in here. 
Uh, there's a special circuit inside the gun which means you don't have to worry about the polarity. So you can insert this battery in either orientation and it doesn't matter, it will still operate. Okay. You can hear by just pulling this trigger, the box mag mechanism is active, both in semi-auto, full auto. I don't have a battery attached to the FCU so it's uh, not operating the HPA engine, but the two actually are completely separate so you can easily swap HPA engines without having to worry about integrating with the box mag mechanism. So that's the basic operations of the Advanced System 5 from Bingo Airsoft Designs. You can check us out at bingoairsoftdesigns.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook under Bingo Airsoft Designs and on Instagram with the tag at Bingo Airsoft Designs.